Hello everyone. Today, we will show you how to conduct image classification using QGIS. As we know, there are three common methods for image classification, namely unsupervised, supervised, and object-based image classification. In this tutorial, we will show you how to conduct supervised classification using QGIS 2.18.22 through SCP, Semi-Automatic Classification Plugin. Now, let's start the first step to activate the plugin. Before we activated the plugin, you have to make sure that your computer is connected to the internet. Now, move your cursor to the plugin menu on the main bar as you see in the video. Then, click on the Manage and Install Plugins item. Wait for the application to load the plugins in a while. Now, after several seconds, we have a plugins window as you see in the video. Type your intended plugin in the search column to in this example, we type semi-automatic classification and the plugin will show up in the list column. Now click on the intended plugin in the list column, then click the install plugin button. Once you have finished the plugin installation, you can see the SCP function in the menu bar. Now, move your cursor to the toolbar as in the video, then right click on the toolbar. Give the tick mark on the SCP doc panel. Now, the SCP doc panel will show up on your monitor. You can move and put the doc panel on a certain edge of the application window. Now, move your cursor on the SCP doc panel. Then click on the SCP input tab as in the video. Open your satellite imagery data by click on open a file icon as you see in the video. Select your raster data in the browser window and click on the open button. Prepare your image by making an image composite as you see in the video. Right click on the satellite imagery layer name. Then click on properties. Define the red green blue composite as we show you in the video. In this example, we use Landsat satellite imagery with a RGB composite of 572, near, SWIR, and blue band for the better look on mangrove objects. Click on load min, max values, and select mean plus or minus standard deviation. Then, click on the load button. Next, click on the apply button. Now, you can see the color composite image in the map window. In this example, the mangrove area can be recognized by its medium light to dark orange color with a smooth texture. Land vegetation or forest can be distinguished by its brown color. As you see in the video, land vegetation can be found just in the south of the mangrove area. OK, now we start to collecting training pixels for the data input of the classification algorithm. Move your cursor to the SCP doc panel. Click on the create a new training input icon as in the video. Then, select your working folder. Type your intended file name, and click on the save button. Now, click on the classification doc tab. Under the ROI creation, define your class ID as well as the class name. For example, we set the MC ID as number 1 for mangrove objects as you see in the video. Now, click on the create a ROI polygon icon. Then, move your cursor on the mangrove object within the satellite image. Draw the training polygon by click on each polygon segment as we show you in the video. Finish the polygon by right-clicking on your mouse. Then, click on the Save Temporary ROI to the Training Input icon as in the video. Now, do this for the other mangrove object as well as non-mangrove objects, such as built-up area, rice field, land vegetation, forest, village, dry crop, grass, shrub, etc. After you have finished the ROI collection, now you have to merge several ROI for the same class name as you see in the video. Then, delete the unnecessary ROIs as you see in the video. Now, move your cursor to the Classification Algorithm tab. Then select your intended algorithm. For example, we select the maximum likelihood. Next, click on the Classification Output tab. Then click on the Run button as you see in the video. Select your working folder, then type your intended classification imagery file name. Next, click on the Save button. Now, we wait for the computer to process the classification. After the computer finishes the process, then the classification imagery shows up in the map display as in the video. You can also customize the class color by accessing the properties function as we show you in the video. Okay, that's all our tutorials on the image classification using QGIS. Thank you.